In this next series of videos, we're going to be getting into sprite animation, which is a really cool type of animation. And I'm going to show you the difference between the basic animation and sprite animation. You've already done basic, and after this series of videos, you're going to be doing sprite animation as well. You're going to need some sample code for this, and it's in your working files folder. Look for a folder called sprite animation and get it onto your hard drive. And I've already gone ahead and put mine into Outlaw here. So now, what's the difference between basic animation and sprite animation? So let me go ahead and run the sample code from our tap and touch events lesson. And here's the cloud up here. That's basic animation. It's moving across the screen, and that's cool. Here is an example of sprite-based animation. This is a jungle cat running after this little green guy through the jungle and looking for breakfast. There's a couple different things to notice here. Number one is the little guy and the cat don't actually move. I mean, they're moving because they're running, but they stay in the exact same location on the screen. The trees in the background are moving to the left, and that's using just basic animation. So you could use Transition 2 to be able to do all of that except for the little guy and the cat. You already know how to do that kind of stuff. There's just different trees, and they're all moving at different speeds from the right to the left. All right, so how does the cat work, and the little guy for that matter? Well, let me go in and show you what those are made of. Those are sprite animation using image sheets. And an image sheet looks like this. It is multiple frames of the animation, one right after the other. And in Corona SDK, you tell it to display one right after the other, and you keep looping that. So in this case, here's part of the cat picture, which goes into this one. This one's next shown, then this one, and so on, all the way through. And then it loops back around to here, and you actually get this look. So that's what sprite animation is. And you can combine sprite animation with basic animation. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this set of videos here. So let me give you a quick peek at what you will be learning in this series of videos. There's sprite animation. Let me go ahead and open that up. And let me run something for you. And this is what I'm going to show you how to do. All right, I can get it started with one click and then it'll go by itself. Okay, a little crash dummy drama playing out right there on your screen. And the way we're going to be doing that is with these crash dummy images. They're block buddies. And here is one where the guy's boxing. And here's another frame and another frame. And in fact, if I run through them quickly, you can actually see the animation. So we have all of these multiple frames here that we can put together for animation. And I'm going to show you how to do that because we do not want to use just single pictures like this. We want to turn them into an image sheet, an image sheet that looks a lot like this. So it's going to be one graphic with multiple images, and then we tell Corona SDK which images to play one after the other. And by doing that, we're able to get a sprite. Once we have the sprite and he's making walking motions or running motions, let me get the running guy here. Okay, so here's a running guy. Once we get the sprite doing that, then we can attach a transition to to that sprite. So he's making the running motion, we make him move across the screen, and he actually looks like he's running across the screen like you saw in that example a moment ago. So in the very next video, I'm going to show you how to create those image sheets because we've got a lot of different frames of animation here that we don't want. We actually want just one image sheet, and I'm going to show you how to do that next.